I am a little bit nervous about not getting everything done. But I'm not <clears throat> happy unless my hair is on fire. Okay, food ready for Ryan. Cat food. We made it, Mike. I'm gonna get my salad. We're ready to go. Perfectly on time. day. Mike and I are headed to Maryland today. Um, we have meetings up there and then it is his mom's birthday. She's having a big birthday and she's in Rochester, New York, as you guys know. So we're going to go from our meeting in Maryland and drive up to Rochester and then spend the night with her and then fly back from Rochester back here. So we're going to be gone for a few days, um, actually four days. So Ryan's going to be here by himself, which is funny because our, our friends are like, you really leave your kids by themselves at the house when you're not there? We're like, yeah, it's not a problem. Um, I guess some people think that's a problem. Some people maybe don't trust their kids. I don't know, we trust Ryan implicitly, so I know that he's gonna, my biggest concern is that he's gonna forget to feed the cats, but I'm pretty sure he'll remember to feed, feed Edward now. So anyway, so today I have things I need to do. So being like such a quick turn, I am a little bit nervous about not getting everything done. I'm also a little bit nervous about um, forgetting something here because I have a lot of work to do. I'm putting up the cruise videos this week, so I would need to make sure that I have everything that I need. So I'm gonna start my day, a little cup of coffee. I am going to go running. It's freezing outside, but I don't need Anticipate having time to run when I'm, when I'm in Maryland and I haven't run since I've been back from the cruise, so I'm gonna try to sneak in a run today and then I still need to unpack. Yum. The best way for me to make sure that I don't forget anything I need to do is to make a list. And before we leave, I wanna make sure that Ryan has everything he needs. So I'm gonna make sure the food is ready for Ryan. Also, while I'm gone, like I mentioned, I'd like Ryan to feed the cats. I wanna make sure to get the cat food all situated for Ryan. I am going to run. I need to <laughs> unpack my suitcase because my suitcase is still packed from when we were on the cruise. Do some laundry and then I need to pack my suitcase again. Make sure that I pack all of my work stuff and cameras and I need to edit today's video. And we are launching new merchandise. So I want to make sure that I post on social media for the new merchandise launch. Okay, pardon me as I shamelessly plug some of our new merchandise. These are just four of the new items that we have on shopitsthedonnellys.com. Take a peek, see what you think. We're leaving at three o'clock for the airport and our flight is at 425. I hope I can get it all done today in that amount of time. Let's go. I think I've decided that before I go for a run, I'm gonna unpack my luggage from, from the cruise and I'm going to do my laundry. So the laundry can be running while I'm running. <laughs> In Maryland, it's quite cold right now, so I'm gonna have to completely switch my suitcase over from Caribbean warm to Maryland chilly. And I don't keep many cold clothes down here in Florida, but I do keep my cold clothes in Maryland. Obviously, my you know, I still have clothes in my closet up there. So I think I'm just gonna bring, oops. So I think I'm just gonna pack a little bit of, probably like my toiletries and, and just, not even shoes, to be honest with you, because this year I'm gonna need shoes with toes, and all my shoes with toes are up in Maryland. So I'm, I really don't need to pack much to go up there other than like electronics and that kind of thing. So I'll just wear the clothes that I have there and then um, keep them there. Oh my gosh, you guys, I just had a fantastic run. Ran half a mile longer than I normally do because it felt so good. On my runs, I usually either listen to music or I listen to a podcast. And I usually get these like so many ideas. I think of so many things on my run and I know Mike's is the same thing about him and swimming. Okay, so many things that I wanna share with you guys. Holy cow. And more like, some things are like, oh, I forgot to tell them this or some of it's inspiration, you know? Like things that I've learned that I feel like if someone, like the more you hear it, the better it is. Maybe, you, maybe you've heard it before and to hear it again is a good thing. <coughs> but, um, I just, like my mind is flowing with ideas. But not only ideas, just like things. So let me start, because I have that little stuff in my mouth after you run and get like. Oh my gosh, okay. My first thing is this. As I'm running, I'm like, okay, this feels so good. I almost wasn't gonna do this run. There's always excuses and reasons why you don't work out, why you don't go exercise your body. But your body is your temple and you must take care of your body. So I'm saying that I have to convince myself and have to convince you guys, right? So convincing myself of that um, on a daily basis is, um, is sometimes a struggle, right? 
because I don't work out every day and I don't eat as great as I should every day. But if we treat our bodies well, it will treat our bodies will treat us well. So, okay, so I'm saying that to you guys so I can remember that that's also a lesson for me. So we're all in this together. We're learning this together. So anyway, so I'm running, I'm running. I'm like, oh my gosh, this feels so good. I almost didn't do this. And I'm so glad I fit it in because I have a very busy day today. And, and maybe I should have waited. No, 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 I'm so glad I did it. Mike and I have this saying and you know, he swims, he's very, Mike is, has the most willpower and the least willpower of anybody I know. I've said that, I don't know if I've said that to you guys before, but I think it's so funny and I'll tell you why. He has the most willpower, like he will, he will swim every single day, no matter what, even if it's like, it's cold or he doesn't want to, or he just doesn't feel well, or he's laying on the couch watching golf and he's comfortable, but he will get up and he will swim. So he has amazing willpower and he's very good at fasting. Like he can not eat for days, if, which is apparently very good for you. Um, if he needs to, he will not. So he's really, really, really good at that. He also has the least willpower of anybody I know in that. He went through a phase of um, time where he ate a box of brownies every day. Like he would make a box of brownies. Hi, Alice. He would make a box of brownies and eat the whole thing. <laughs> and he did that for like two weeks straight. <laughs> and he just had no willpower. He couldn't handle it. He just couldn't handle it. So like just stuff like that. So anyway, he, um, he has this saying though, every time after he goes and he swims when he really didn't want to, he's like, you know what? You never regret a swim. He it always, inevitably always makes him feel better. And I feel the same way about running and any kind of exercise that you never regret doing it. Like you absolutely would regret not doing it, but you never regret doing it. As a matter of fact, not only do you not regret doing it, you get this like feeling like these endorphins, like these emotions, this like wonderful rush of energy and all that stuff after you do it and you just feel so good and your body thanks you. So that's one of the things I was thinking about on my run today and I wanted to share that with you guys and I would love to hear your comments about what you think about that. If you, if you agree with me, if you want to support that or if you're just like, no, I need a little bit more motivation, that's not enough. And listen, this is the thing. Working out is about being healthy. It's not really about, I mean, yeah, I want to look better. I'd like to lose some fat. I'd like to be like a supermodel. I, I know I'm not going to get there, but it's more about being healthy. And especially as I'm getting up there in, in age, I want to make sure that I keep limber and loose and, and my body treats me well. So I want to make sure I treat it well. So, anyway, so that's one of the things I was thinking about. I'm going to take a shower. Okay, run, check. Laundry, check, except guess what? We're out of laundry detergent, so that kind of actually really should get a half check. When I say laundry, I mean I separated the dirties from the cleans and put the dirties in the washing machine. <laughs> it's gonna probably sit there until I get back because I don't have time to go get laundry detergent before then, and hopefully Ryan doesn't have any laundry to do before we get back either. All right, so I still need to get food ready for Ryan, get the cat food situation. I did unpack. Most of the things are put away. Some of the things are still on the floor, but I'm gonna give that a check anyway. I still have to pack my suitcase again, pack all work stuff, edit the video. Oh, I did, I already did this. I posted on social media. I'm going to leave for the airport. Oh, I also have to water the gardens, which I forgot, but I need to put on there. And I put it way at the bottom, but I have to do that. So in the meantime, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go edit my video. You guys are following, sorry about that. I'm gonna go, go edit the video. It's the second day of our cruise. It's the day that we were in Key West and the kids went parasailing. That was such, 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 a, fun, such a fun day. I have a feeling I probably have about an hour of clips that I need to edit down to at least, uh, or about 20 minutes. So let me go take a look at that. That's gonna be the majority of my day. Oh my gosh. I finished editing my video. That took about an hour and a half which is actually not that bad. It normally takes me a little bit longer than that, but this was an easy video to edit because there was so much good content in it. But in the meantime, I literally have let Eddie in and out of the back door probably four times. Alice came up here and crawled in the basket next to me. She's sitting next to me because it's the only way I can get her to not sit on my computer while I'm working is if I get a little comfy spot for her. So I just discovered today, I'm like, oh, what if I put the basket there? So that worked out okay. So now what I'm doing is I'm uploading the video onto a hard drive that looks like this. And then when I when it's uploaded to here, then I'm gonna upload it onto YouTube. I like to keep all my videos on a hard drive just in case something goes wrong and I can go back and look at them if I need to pull them for other um, purposes. But anyway, so that's uploading now. It is 2, 2.25. So my list really literally, I still haven't even checked off anything else off my list yet because edit video, I can't check that off until it's actually ready to post on YouTube and it's supposed to post in the next 
35 minutes. I like to post at three o'clock. So the, guy, the times that you guys see that I have not posted by three, it means it either took a really long time to edit or I'm doing something that I can't get to my computer or whatever. But my goal is always to have it up by three Eastern. So in the meantime, while that's uploading to the hard drive, I'm gonna get Ryan's food ready and get the cat food ready. So let's do this. Mike made food last night. I bought stuff for him or for us to make chili for Ryan because what I wanted to do is I wanted to make sure that we had I wanted to make sure that we had food for him while we are gone so he doesn't have to like scrounge for food or try to make his own food like he can make his own food but like making his own chili is a whole different story I just didn't want him to eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches the whole time um I did buy ham and cheese and bread he likes ham and cheese sandwiches we made chili Mike grilled some chicken so he can just heat it up and it keeps the kitchen less messy less bugs all that stuff Mike so graciously made food last night while I was working so I was working on putting together our social media posts for the new merchandise and then he put it in the fridge but this is how Mike stores food in the fridge so he takes a bowl and he puts the food in it and then he puts a little piece of wax paper on it and then he puts a plate on top instead of putting it in Tupperware because he does not like Tupperware he hates Tupperware I on the other hand think that it doesn't keep it fresh so look at this is, he's got a bowl with wax paper and not this is a paper plate on top of the, ah, the one bowl of chili which was stacked on top of yet oh my gosh Look at this, another bowl of chili. These are three bowls of chili with like wax paper on them. I guess it makes sense because you just pull it out, put the bowl in the microwave and heat it up. But that's not gonna work for me. So I'm gonna put it in um, Tupperware so Brian can have it. <laughs> Okay, I can check off getting Ryan's food ready. Now I'm gonna get the cat food ready. Then I think I'm gonna to try to make a quick salad for me. I have, it's 12.31, we are leaving here in 29 minutes and I still need to upload the video from the hard drive to YouTube and create a thumbnail and title. So stay with me. We keep the cat food in the laundry room. Um, so you can hear the dryer going right now. We have this, which is our constant cat feeder, although it doesn't really work, so you kind of have to shake it down. But I feel like if I fill this with the cat food, and then Ryan, he knows what he needs to do. And you would think it would be easy to just fill it with cat food, but Eddie has prescription cat food now because of this little thing that he had. Um, but he won't eat that prescription cat food just by itself. So I mix it with his other cat food. So plus the fact that Alice, I can't keep them away from eating each other's food. So Alice eats a prescription cat food too, which is a little bit more expensive, but not too, too bad. But I feel like if I mix it together and they eat it, then he should be fine. So that's what I'm doing. Okay, food ready for Ryan. Cat food. Now I need to pack my suitcase, the work stuff, finish editing video. Oh, you know what I need to do too is water the garden. Maybe I'll do that real quick while the video's uploaded. Water the garden, you might think, Jill, why do you need to water the garden? Well, we do live in Florida and it does get really, really hot and it hasn't rained here in a very long time. And if you haven't watched, I most recently planted a new garden and I don't want it to go to waste. And this is my hose. I'm gonna go ahead and hook it up right out here to the water source and water my garden. Okay, change of plans. I'm not gonna water the garden first. First, I'm gonna pack and then I'm gonna make my salad. If I have time left, I'll water the garden. Otherwise, I might ask Ryan to do it. I just uploaded my video to YouTube, so now it's uploading now. So it's set to post at three o'clock, so you guys should be good. It is now two, um, 55, gotta pack. So this is what it looks like now. Mike is putting together a bottle of water to take. I am shutting down my computer. I have my suitcase packed, ready to go. I've got my purse. I did not water the garden. Uh oh. Da, 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 da. Nor did I make my salad, but I think I can make my salad and go to the bathroom in 30 seconds. Come on, here we go. All right. Yes, please. So 
how I roll, you guys. This is my salad. I take salad mix and I put a tomato. I put blue cheese. I put shredded carrots. Red onion, which I don't have. for now. Dressing. Watch this. My favorite kinds of Italian dressing. Marinade. Put that in there. Some. That'd be awesome. Thanks, babe. These are my favorite croutons. I can only get them from Safeway up in Maryland, so I'm going to buy more while I'm up there. That, my friends, is my salad. Ready to go. Okay, what else? What else? What else? What else? Pack. Pack my work stuff, cameras, edit video, it's ready to go. 310, leave for airport. I did not water the garden. Ready to go. You ready to go? No, we can leave him here. Ryan's not gonna drive the car. <sighs> We're ready to go. Perfectly on time. It's five after. No, it's like ten, ten after. Good Here we morning. go. <laughs> you know what I've discovered about myself? And I know you know this. But I'm not happy unless my hair is on fire. I wouldn't say happy, like it'd be nice if I could like, do things in a relaxed manner, but that's just not how it goes. So, I think you are um, an optimistic person. Yes. So, your optimism overflows into your schedule. Yes. And I don't think it's a bad thing, I think it's right. a good thing, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Although, Certainly makes for some interesting runs through the airport. It does. The good news is, I've surrounded myself with people who are kind of the same. And don't mind. You, on the other hand, you would like to you would like to have a little bit more flexibility in <laughs> in timing. But Katie's right there with me. I have a feeling she got it for me. Well, even though my hair was on fire, we made it to the airport and I was able to put my phone through the security detector, which was kind of fun. I've always wanted to do that. <laughs> if you guys want to watch another video where it's kind of crazy, I put together care packages for Brennan and Katie while they were in college. Take a look at this video and we will see you soon.